Good morning and welcome to another vlog. Today I'm going to be showing you a typical day in medical school in as much detail as possible from start to finish. So when my alarm goes off in the morning, one of two things happens. I either get up and I'm ready to go, I get out of bed, I don't hit snooze, and I start the day or I can't find the will to even move my body so I roll over and snooze for a bit and while I'm snoozing I start to think about all the things I have to do during the day and as that panic sets in I usually find the motivation to get up So I have filmed a medical school morning routine video and I'm going to be uploading it while I'm studying for exams and I don't really have time to vlog. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. But anyways, after I'm done all my morning shenanigans, I head to school because at 8 a.m. sharp, we start CBL. So let's go. So this is a CBL room. We hook up our computers and display the case on the TV so everyone can see it. And then we use the chalkboards and whiteboards to problem solve and work through the case together. And we just sort of sit in a meeting style like this. So the CBL cases are quite variable in length and how much content we have to complete. Um, so some days we get out about 10-15 minutes early, which is really nice to kind of have a coffee break in the morning. Um, otherwise, we just go to 9.50 and then lecture officially starts at 10. So let's head to the lecture theater. <laughs> so when I get home for my one hour lunch break, there are two things that I love to do. The first is work out because that really, really, really improves my focus for the afternoon and it improves my energy. And the second is to eat a warm home cooked meal because that also helps me get through the afternoon. So for lunch, I've got some creamy tomato soup with some beef and veggies that my amazing mom made when she was here. It's so yummy. And then some toast to go with it. So I got a comment on one of my previous videos asking, how do I create the study matrix? So Mac has this application called Numbers. The Microsoft equivalent is Excel. So you can do it with both. Okay, so I have the subject on the left, and then on the top, I have the task that I want to do. For example, a summary for chemistry. So when I've completed that task, I click on the cell. And then over here, you can change the color of the cell by making it green. And then that fills it in as done. And yeah, basically when I use the matrix, I use it as a way to identify areas that I haven't reviewed as much. Um, and it just helps me guide my study goals. So sadly, lunch is over. Now I'm heading back to lectures. <laughs> so I just got back from school. First thing I like to do is make a snack and I usually try and take a bit of a brain break. So for about half an hour, I'll do something different. Today I'm gonna to work on editing a vlog. Um, I think half an hour is like really a sweet spot as far as taking a break. It's long enough that you kind of have time to get refreshed, but I think it's short enough that you don't lose your inertia that kind of keeps you motivated to keep studying. So I stumbled across this really cool website, it's called getbodysmart.com and it has all these quizzes for anatomy which are super sweet. 
So I've just been going through um, like the vertebrae. So you start quiz and it's got like a real bone and then a picture, it points to the structure and then you try and determine what this is. So here we're looking at the pedicle and it gives you instant feedback. And then yeah, you just keep going. All right, so while we're here, I just wanted to share an amazing website that I have stumbled across. It's called Synap. So if you Google Synap quiz, it's the first result, synap.ac. You create an online account and you can make your own multiple choice quizzes. So this is amazing. Okay, so you answer the correct answer here, super user friendly. Then you can save and add another question or just save this as the quiz. And then when you're done adding all your questions, you can change your privacy settings. Then you press finish. So then there's two modes. You have a practice mode or an exam mode. Exam mode gives you feedback at the very end. Um, practice will give you feedback after the question. So here we are. We know that this is the correct answer. We can check our answer and we got 100%. I just did an hour of light studying, just clicked through that anatomy quiz I showed you and read over the Diabetes Canada guidelines. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna change into some warm and comfy clothing and cook myself some dinner. I am now in my comfy clothes and I just finished my dinner. So I'm going to pack up my stuff, I'm going to head to a coffee shop because I need to change scenery and I'm going to have a wild night of studying! Woo! Thanks to daylight savings, this is what 5.30pm looks like, like you can't even, you can't even see anything! Just finished studying and now I am walking home. <sighs> it's kind of dark and weird out, but it's okay. I live close to the coffee shop, so it's not that sketch. I had a thought, as I normally do, and I was thinking, man, I kind of study like a lot more now that I'm in med school, but it's weird compared to undergrad. It doesn't feel like I'm studying more. Don't know how that works. Oh, my bed. Oh, my bed. So I am home and this concludes my day. I'm not crazy. I'm not studying anymore. I'm done. I'm going to sleep because I love sleep and it's so important. Can we just address my outfit? Because I have reached a whole new level of very comfortable, very unfashionable. So I was wearing Birkenstocks and socks earlier, but now I'm in my slippers. And I have these black fleece pants. I don't even know. They're so warm, but they're not cute. I have them like so high up in my waist that they don't really cover my ankles. And then I have this big, long, woolly cardigan. I have a kidney in my pocket. And then I'm wearing this like bright pink Hollister hoodie that I, I kid you not, I literally bought this in grade six because buying shirts with words on it was cool. What are those? What are those? What are those? What is this? Anyways, that is all for now. Thank you so much for joining me on a more in-depth day in the life. And I will see you in the next video.